bring you back to the country now. Kenyan Deputy President William Ruto has now filed a motion of no case to answer before judges at the International Criminal Court. Ruto's defense team led by lead counsel Karim Khan in the application cite five reasons why the Hague-based court should acquit the deputy president. The defense argues the prosecution's case against Ruto is based on hearsay. Rita Tinina has the details. Closer home, the weekends have been marked by prayer rallies for Deputy President William Ruto. But as leaders seek divine intervention in the case against the Deputy President at the International Criminal Court, Ruto's defense team has been burning the midnight oil. The latest effort, this request for judgment of acquittal of the deputy president. The motion filed by Ruto's defense team, led by lead counsel Karim Khan, was submitted before trial chamber five on Monday evening and outlines reasons why the court should acquit the deputy president. In the no case to answer motion, the defense argues that there is no evidence of a network. The organization dubbed the network by the prosecutor is the keystone of the case. The defense argues the prosecution not only failed to produce evidence of a network, it also failed to prove the creation, existence, or operation of an organization that the prosecutor described as a criminal organization in the style of a mafia. The defense argues the post-election violence was not committed pursuant to an organizational policy, but was spontaneous and natural reaction to perceptions that the elections were rigged and not an organized event attributed to one group of perpetrators working under a unified, concerted, and predetermined strategy as claimed by the prosecution. The defense also argues that the prosecution has failed to establish Ruto's individual criminal responsibility for the crimes charged, and therefore he has no case to answer. The defense further submits that Ruto is not responsible for the crimes charged, arguing that the prosecution failed to link him with any of the crimes alleged in any of the locations charged, including murder, deportation, or forcible transfer and persecution in, among other areas, Tarbo, Huruma, Kimumu, Yamumbi, and Kiamba. The defense also outlines the overwhelmingly hearsay content of the prosecution case, arguing that the prosecution's reliance on hearsay demonstrates a case that has completely broken down. Rita Tinina, KTN News.